Hey, YouTube. All right, 11.3.2. Let's try that same drive to Home Depot as I did the other day that has the highway on it as well to see if there's a difference. Uh, let's see. Ooh. Took a second to get going there. All right, so uh, <clears throat> release notes were a little bit different. I'm gonna minimize the screen because it said that, oh, it, so there's, there's the first one. Uh, it automatically moves the position, even though my default position was here for the uh, left turn uh, camera, it moved it uh, out of the way to sh show the uh, FSD visualization. All right, so now we are going and, all right, I had to accelerate a little bit through that. I'm gonna disengage. Uh, should have waited for side traffic. <clears throat> I needed to give that a little bit of an accelerator. Uh, that was not really a... Um, I think at the speed that it was going out, it would have caused... It would definitely would not have caused a collision, but it would have made that driver have to slow down, uh, probably causing them to honk at me. And uh, just as not, was that was really not the right time to pull out, unless it was going to give a little bit more boost like I did. So, uh, first disengagement there, which is funny because it's the exact same uh, disengagement uh, intersection that I had on the last video on this same drive on 11.3.1. All right, it is uh, staying to the side and now it's going to the right a little bit but it always has on this road and then it gets back over and um, stop sign intersections have been I think the worst part of the last version um, okay go it's, it just waits too long and I'm going to Oh, disengage. That was my fault. Um, waited too long at stop sign. It was our turn to go with right of way. Okay, so, um, as I was saying, stop intersections and four way stops, I think, are the worst part of 11, V11. Uh, and no doubt, um, uh, you know, the, the recall by National Highway Transportation Safety Administration has, uh, you know, they do not like, uh, they definitely don't like rolling stops, which I don't either, but it's waiting far too long. It is not natural. It confuses the other people because they're like, hey, it's your turn, go. Green arrow stopping, stopped on green arrow and tried to go left near the uh, poles. <clears throat> okay, so that was a regression right there. Last time on the uh, last video, I actually commented how nice and smooth it went through that. Um, I think it was a similar uh, green arrow. Uh, the car didn't stop or deviate at that time. It actually, the wheel turned left a little bit. Um, so, you know, my goal is to not make intervention-free videos. I love it. I love when the car can get from one place to the other without any help. Uh, and that's obviously the goal. But uh, as many of you have noted in the comments, you know, the, the goal of FSD beta testing uh, is is to intervene and 
and uh, send that data back to Tesla. Okay, I'm gonna come, uh, that's, we're here. I'm going to see, a lot of people asked if Auto Park was working. So let's, let's see here. This should be, this spot should work. Oh, yeah, there's, oh, uh, it, so the P came up. I'll go past that again, and there it is. And uh, shift to reverse. Oops, gotta hit the brake. Start. So, you know, if I was parking in this spot, I would have done it in one smooth motion. And uh, just like on 11.3.1, .1, and I don't use Auto Park very often, but it takes two. Uh, so it does one to kind of get the back in position, moves forward, and then uh, back. So, you know, three point turn. Okay, and so my car is a 2018. I do have the ultrasonic sensors. We saw a green post this morning on Twitter that uh, th that the this version enabled uh, cars without the ultrasonic sensors to do auto park. Uh, but I believe mine still is. Uh, I'd have to go back and look at the uh, screen to see what it was showing. But anyway, uh, there we go. So I would say that. Uh, Side by side, the two drives, this one was a little bit worse. I called the last one almost perfect because uh, I really had to only take over um, once at the beginning and then I took over once in the middle, but that was uh, only because I wanted to give some feedback. It was not necessary. This time I had uh, two or three interventions, uh, two or three times I pushed the accelerator. So I'm hoping that it was just, uh, you know, it's hard for you, for me to compare if the software is better or worse based on, you know, one drive. Um, uh, I'll uh, keep driving around and see what happens. If you get 11.3.2 uh, today or this weekend, please put in the comments uh, how you feel it drives because to me it seems like such an improvement in how smooth it is. Uh, especially if you have a significant other, uh, my wife, you know, she's, she will let me use FSD beta when I'm driving, but, uh, she doesn't necessarily like it. And a lot of the drives I've been having over the past week or two, I don't think, know if you could really tell that, um, I wasn't driving. So, and that's not saying anything about me. I'm saying that, uh, you know, I, my comparison has been to, uh, the last four or five Uber drivers I've, I've driven with and, um, this is better than all of them. So that's it. Thank you guys. And, uh, see you later.